Hey guys, so in this video we gonna talk about how to make a <coughs> good resume. So before starting this video, uh, let me ask you one question. Like how much time do you think a recruiter take to shortlist your resume? One or two seconds, five to eight seconds or one or two minutes? Yes, uh, the right, right answer is five to eight seconds. So you should make your resume very crisp and to the point so that recruiter can able to see uh, all those points which uh, you want to convey him or her so that your resume gets selected now tell me other thing uh, who sees your resume first is it a ATS system is it a HR or a hiring manager yes the ATS, ATS system sees your resume first and all those people who don't know what is ATS, so ATS is application tracking system. So what it does, it compare your resume with the job description and based on that, it will suggest as resume to the hiring manager. And don't take it lightly because 70 to 80 percent of the resume got uh, rejected by ATS itself. So that's why you never get a call from Google, Microsoft, Micro or TCS. Right, so so we need to make a resume which can pass through that ATS system as well. So you get at least one call because getting a call is more important than like cracking or not cracking an interview. Right. So we will see how exactly we can achieve that in this video. Now I have prepared some points. So like um, okay. So what are the main components of a Good resume. So let's start from the top. So at the top, we are having title. So what is the title? The title should be your name, mm. capital. So recruiter came to know that what is your name. He do not. He or she do not have to go through your resume to find your name. And let's assume your resume got selected. Now, how a recruiter can reach out to you? So for that, your contact information should be there. And what it contains, it can contain your phone number, your email. If you want, you can add your LinkedIn profile as well. If you want to show what what all things or what all projects you have worked upon, you can add your GitHub link, your portfolio link, right? So that the recruiter can better understand you. So they, these things should be visible at the top of your resume. And do not mention your address or location there because Let's say someone is looking for Bangalore location and you put put down there, so the chances of getting a call will be a bit lesser. So instead, do not mention anything. Tell the recruiter that you are open to work from anywhere. Okay. So we're gonna talk about three more things in our resume. So when we come to the body, so there are three very important things. Number one is skills. So in skills, you need to mention what all uh, things you no, so as a developer or as a automation tester, the main thing is the programming language. It can be Java, JavaScript, or it can be some framework, Angular, Node.js, or let's say Selenium, uh, so Test ng Cucumber, right? So you should mention that. Do not mention Excel operating system as Windows, Mac, right? These, these are things. These are all the things which. Uh, software engineer should know so these are the obvious things so no need to mention those things so just mention the code tools and technologies and you can manipulate it as per the job description but uh, make sure that if you are writing those things in your resume you should know that if you are an experienced person make sure that experience means let's say you are applying for automation testing and you have the experience in automation testing in that case, you will mention your work experience first, followed by the projects that this is my work experience. And in addition, I have did these projects. And if you are a completely fresher or from a non IT to IT, moving from non IT to IT, in that case, you can mention your project first and then you will add up your work experience. And make sure that your resume should be of one page, it shouldn't go beyond that maximum it can go two pages if you have a lot of work experience in that case but if you are working on one or two companies then i would say it should be 
in a single page only and if you have a lot of work experience a lot of work exposure so in that case you can neglect that education part so you can remove the education portion from your resume because that that won't adding any benefits to you okay okay so we have discussed about uh, projects and work experience but how we should write that thing right so let's discuss that <clears throat> so whatever projects you have done in your in your work or uh, your self initiated projects so try to like open a notepad in front of you and or you can pick up a copy and a pen try to write 20 points about your project so it can be like um, what is your project what you have achieved mm, so try to write around 20 points you can pause the video for few minutes done okay so if you have already wrote those 20 points what you have to do you need to select top 10 points and remove all other 10 points so try to select uh, 10 important points from your script done okay so the 10 points you have selected now we need to work on this so how we will do we will try to reduce it even further to five points so to do that try to merge these 10 points together to uh, like reduce them into five points so combine them and try to reduce them to five done okay now we will see very important thing which uh, catches a recruiter eye that is whatever points you have wrote means those five points you need to wrote, write in more efficient manner how so let's say you wrote uncovered and tested bugs in existing test cases does it sound great no right so we need to make it sound good so how we can uh, make it sound more good by adding some powerful verbs we can add some percentage and numbers so let's try to do this so we can write it instead uncover the deeply nested bugs in existing test cases and increase the efficiency by let's say 40 percent so we have a powerful verb and a percentage there so this way a recruiter got the attention that yeah so you did uh, something and in result it it did some it optimized something by this much percentage or by this much number so this way you need to optimize uh, your two or three points out of five so do not overdo it it won't look very good so once you um try, once you optimize all your five point like this not all five means uh, two or three so once you uh, did optimize your three to four uh, sorry two to three points like this then you need to go through this website drop your resume here and see if you are getting greater than 60 percent so if you are get, getting a scores greater than 60 percent this means that um, your resume is good and uh, you can start applying and uh, one thing to make sure that let's say you still not getting any calls in that case you need to make sure that you update your resume so try to optimize it furthermore and uh, so this way you can check your ATS um, readiness score so let's sum up whatever we have learned so we need to create a one page resume so it shouldn't exceed one page okay and we need to include all the relevant things we try to eliminate all the irrelevant things from the resume right so if you are applying for automation testing do not include certification from the data science or machine learning so it might add some advantage but not at the earlier stage okay so at the later part of your career now second point is your personal details should be on the top of the resume third is uh, your content should be crisp and 
can be expressed in less words for this if you do not have any relevant work experience try to add your project first followed by followed by your work experience and your education Fifth point is if you have relevant work experience, put your work experience first, followed by dot projects. Sixth point is we need to uh, like check the ATS score, and uh, by do following these steps, you are ready to go. Apart from this, what you can do is you can try to make your resume, and uh, you can send it to me as well for uh, what we can see review. If you want, and uh, and meet you in next video, and subscribe to this channel and like this video. So, bye bye.